Next question is from a long life site. What priming moves are good for squats, deadlifts, bench press, and the other big lifts? Well, first of all, the best priming movements are going to be the ones that are uh, specific to specific you. To you. Yeah. So individualized priming movements are superior to non, uh, you know, non-specific priming movements for your body. This is why when we wrote MAPS Prime, uh, we put in MAPS Prime a self-assessment tool because we know this as trainers. We know yeah. we can put general priming movements out there. But if you if the general priming priming movement is the opposite of what you need, not only is it going to not help you, it might actually make things worse. Well, let's let's give an example of this, right? Let's so let's take the very first one, squats, and I'll give you three different priming movements for three different people based off of what I see in their movement. So if somebody has their their knees uh, collapse in every time they squat, I'm going to do something like tube walking as like a primer before they they get into their squats because this is an issue that they they're battling, and so us priming with that exercise first is probably going to benefit them the most in this squat. Let's say I have uh, another client who has a hard time feeling it in squats in their glutes and they're very quad dominant and they're they're feeling more in their hip flexors and their quads when they do squats than they are their glutes. I might do floor bridges with this person to prime their glutes so their glutes are firing better when they do a squat. Let's take my third client. My third client who has uh, is an engineer and he's on the computer and stuff all day long and he has excessive forward shoulders and forward head. And so I'm going to prime him with like zone one from MAPS Prime and really work on his- The wall test. Yeah, the wall test because he's he's falling, he's rounding forward so much when he squats, he's feeling it in his knees and in his quads because of his upper body is rounded so forward. So I'm going to prime that before squatting. So that's, you know- there's one exercise, but three different people, how I would prime them differently going into that single exercise. Yeah, and to take mm -hmm. it even a step further, the example that you gave, Adam, of the person whose knees collapse in and you have them do tube walking, let's say you had a, a client, and this is less common, but this will happen. This can happen. Let's say you have a client whose knees go too far out when they squat. I've had mm -hmm. this happen with dancers where yep. they Me literally, their, their knees bow, bow out mm -hmm. uh, in the opposite direction. Two blocking not only would be the wrong priming movement for them, it would be it would make that worse. Yeah, with reinforce that the bad pattern. It would reinforce the bad pattern. So individualizing your priming is what you really want to do. Um, and we have, by the way, we have a free webinar where you'll learn some of these self assessment tools and some priming. It's mapsprime.com. I highly recommend you go there. But what I do, what I will do is this on the podcast. I will give you some general priming movements for some of those uh, exercises based off of what I notice in a majority of people uh, that I work with. So with squatting, you know, your general priming movements that tend to be really good for most people would be your combat stretch. 90-90 uh, mm -hmm. tends to be really good. And some kind of a prone cobra or a band row for the upper uh, back to pull the shoulders back. So generally speaking, that works for a lot of people. Uh, the deadlift, I love priming people with a, a single leg uh, toe touch. Mm, a windmill. Uh, windmill this is, is great. excellent for deadlifts as well. For a bench press, I tend to do something that involves a row or pulling the shoulders back for priming there. And then for an overhead press, uh, a wall press tends to work great for a lot of people. But again, if it's opposite of what your individual body needs, not only will those priming movements not help you, they may actually make things a little bit worse uh, for you. So, and again, in our MAPS Prime program, it's very specific. Like we, you go in there, you take a test based off of how you do with the test. It points you in the right direction. So you can do exercises that are best for your body. But I tell you what, there is no, there's no comparison to priming your body properly. The feeling you get when you go into an exercise. And you feel it immediately. Right away. Yeah. Well, right away. And it's so important you go through that to find out for yourself like what those deviations are because the closer you get to alignment and, and stacking your spine and everything to be, you know, the maximize the the optimal uh, range of motion, uh, the better your overall performance is going to be in all these lifts. So to do that yourself is is imperative.